What's up, family? Okay, so we are back for another cash envelope stuffing. And this is for my last paycheck of January. So, let us get started. All right, so I'm going to open up my binder. And of course, as usual, we start with my everyday items, which are gas, self-care, household, and grocery. And again, don't mind that these two are upside down. I told y'all I wasn't paying attention when I was putting the stickers on and writing on them and which side the opening was actually on. So I have other stickers where I could change it, but it's, it's not that deep. So let us get started. Close you back, sit you to the side. Lay all of you out. All right, y'all, I realized. All right, y'all, I realized that I had started talking, started the video, and I hadn't even laid the money out. Like, oh, it has been a day of days, but we'll get into that while we stuff. Okay, so where is my pen? Now I don't even have a pen. I'm just real raggedy today, y'all. Don't pay me no mind at all. Okay, got a pen. It's not my pretty purple pen, but it's a pen. It'll work. All right. So, this month, like I was saying, has just been ridiculous. Uh, gas gets 20 this week. Like, let me tell y'all how... Since I was a stay-at-home mom and like not working, my husband had been paying. Today is um, the 22nd. My husband had been paying for the car insurance, which was cool because at the time we only had the one car. So that was fine, no problem. So I never really knew what the insurance was. But then... I got a car and so I had insurance on my car through another company but then through a series of misfortunate events my husband's insurance company dropped him because he had like a whole bunch of tickets and uh, this was 20 so remaining was zero and then I'm sorry I had went and got gas before I did this 22nd, 21. And we're adding 20, which makes the remaining $20. Okay. So, husband's company, insurance, insurance company dropped him because he had like a bunch of tickets and a few accidents. And in the state of Georgia, where we were living at the time, they were like, um, that's a bit too much. We can't insure you. So they dropped him. So it turns out that he was able to get insurance through my insurance company, which was USAA, because if he added my name or if I added his name to my policy. And so he was like, okay, well, since you're adding me to your policy, I'll just pay your car insurance as well. Because again, I was still a stay-at-home mom, not fully working. So he was paying for my car insurance and his car insurance. So when I started this job, Self-care, you get 25, two tens and a five. I was like, okay, I'm gonna, you know, pay for my bills, be fully grown up, feel independent again, whatever. So when it came time to find out what the insurance actually was, not his ins car insurance, but my car insurance, Baby, let me tell you, I was tricked and bamboozled, y'all. Because with USAA, they take your money out on the 1st and on the 15th. So when they took their money, their first sum out on the 1st, I was like, okay, cool. This is nothing. I can do this little payment. This is nothing at all. I got this. 
But then I go to check my account right before payday because I should have had money in my account. Like I do leave a little bit of money in my account just for like little things while I'm out. Not a lot. But I go to check my account and I see that they've taken money out of my savings and put it into my checking. And I'm like, why would they do that? I didn't request that. Like, why are they touching my money? Well, I didn't call them about the, that night. So let me write on here. I did go um, shopping, self-care. I went to Five and Below and got myself some workout stuff. So that was $68. So I had 13 left. What was in here? So this is the money we just put in. And then I took that 13 out and just put it right into my little savings jar. So in goes this, 25. Okay, so self-care now has 25 in it. So I finally, so before I could like call Navy Federal and ask them why they changed the money around, I go to check my account again the next day, y'all the money was gone, like gone, absolutely gone. So now I'm mad, like I'm 38 hot, where is my money? So I call Navy Federal, all upset. And the woman who answered, she was so sweet. She was like, oh, well, ma'am, when you signed on and created an account with us, you agreed to funding. So it's like if you have a bill that's coming out and you don't have enough money in your checking to cover the bill, they take it out of your savings so that you don't get overdraft fees. So I'm like, well, what bill is coming out? Because I've paid everything for the beginning of the month. And she was like, oh, your car insurance. And sure enough, USAA had taken out their 15th payment for car insurance. Here I'm thinking it's just going to be that one flat payment in the beginning of the month, which was like $125. And I was like, fine, cool, this is nothing. But then they went and took out another $125. And I was like, hold the bus. We're putting all stops to this and then I call USAA and they're like oh yes it's because you have two drivers on the account and because of your husband's driving record it makes it this price and I'm just like wow even though he doesn't drive my car y'all like he talks so much crap about my car and how it's old and it's raggedy and it don't drive right but now I'm paying all this extra money simply because we live in the same household and they just feel like some kind of way he might drive my car. So let me tell you, I got straight household. This month gets 25. Uh, which we have at two tens and a five. So after that experience, I immediately started looking for another insurance company and making sure that I do not add his name because I refuse to pay extra money for somebody else's mistakes. I'm so sorry, but I can't. Um, 1, 22, 21. And we are putting in, I forgot just that fast what I was putting in here. Uh, and I forgot I took that money. I already spent that money in household, so now 25 is in household. So now, I said all of that to say, I'm not even stuffing like as much money in these envelopes as I planned to, as I wanted to, because I still have to make sure that for the new policy that I started with Geico, that I have, I had to pay that money for the first month. 
so I basically spent money that I wasn't anticipating. Okay, grocery I didn't spend, so it has two for sixty. Still has that sixty inside, so we'll keep that in there, and we'll just add to it. And I'll probably go grocery shopping this weekend or something. Um, and grocery this week gets. 35, which is a 20, a 10, and a 5. Oh. 35. Oh. Okay, so grocery has 2, 4, 6, 8, 95. So 95 is now in grocery. I am so agitated and annoyed with this whole situation. Somebody's alarm is going off outside. So grocery is done, household is done, self-care is done, gas is done. So we will put these back in the binder oh that had me so flustered and then I'm talking to Thomas like you couldn't have told me how much the bill was like you just left it as a surprise <sighs> but whatever not my issue anymore because I surely switched. So back to school gets its usual 40. Even though everything else got shortchanged, I'm not going to shortchange my babies. So back to school gets 40, 220s. So now I'm back to school. We have two, four, six, eight, one hundred twenty. All right. to the boys envelopes Tom Tom gets his ten dollars again two fives so five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty is now in his envelope and he is so excited because his dad, he got an A on his math test. So his dad got him some uh, boxing gloves. And you cannot tell that boy he is not on his way. that in there to, to the side same thing for Theo two fives okay so Thomas walked in the house and started having a full conversation with me so this is now had to turn into a voiceover but I put 10 into Theo's envelope and I miscounted for a second but 5, 10, 15, 20 30 so put that in his envelope so they both have the same 
time and time and time. And yeah, I haven't done a voiceover in so long, so forgive me, guys. But then I just update my Theo's tracker to add the $10 that we just put. And then we move on to the next. Well, how much I was able to stuff this video, but hey, you always have to get down before you come up, so it will never happen again with my insurance. Okay, so now glasses is all stuffed, and I forgot to print the tracker for glasses. Like, it's the only one without one, and I keep forgetting to print it, but... Now we're moving on to build, which is our new house, new car, and retirement. I'm sorry, it's off camera, guys. I was in the middle of having a conversation with Thomas. Like, normally, he doesn't care about what I'm doing when I'm recording a video, but today he just decided he wanted to be, have conversations and talk and whatnot while I was in the middle of doing something but it's okay all right so here I kind of made a little mistake because I wasn't able to do the full amount into new car and to new house so I kind of got it mixed up I put $20 into new car and $10 went into new house but I kind of mixed it up but I'll fix it in a couple minutes Always fix my mistakes. And this is where I realized that something wasn't right. So, just gonna fix that. I'm gonna take the 20 out of new house and add the 10, put that in the envelope, and then I'll adjust my tracker as well. So then that put new house at 120, well no, new car at 120 and new house at 110. And then once I'm done with new car and new house, it is retirement which you guys know gets its usual 50, which would take me to $155 inside of retirement. Y'all give me a minute. I didn't realize it took me this long to realize that I made a mistake. There we go, adjusting my tracker. Girl, you need to drink your orange juice, take some vitamins. It should not take you that long.
so finally finally We have made it to retirement, which like I said, gets its usual 50. And it brings us to $155. I'm so mad I have to do a voiceover for this video, but that man would just not stop talking. Okay, so just adjusting my tracker because it was backwards and y'all know that gets on my nerves. So I am just adjusting new house um, folder and then we will be moving on to the next. sorry okay now we've gotten into builds the last three envelopes were not built those were my long-term categories so now we are into builds which is business travel emergency and it's one more thing which is eluding me right now So that put business at 55. Yeah, because it was 220 to 10 to 5. Turn on my bills facing the right way, and then I'll add that to the tracker. That also gets its usual 50, which brings it to $155. mostly everything else so for the kids I kept it the same my retirement and emergency I also kept that the same and for my savings it still took the usual 10% right out of my paycheck that I never even get to touch Which 
I believe takes me to $120 in car maintenance, but I will have to double check that when I count it by hand. By hand on camera, my bad, y'all. But yes, it did take me to 120 in car maintenance. Which leaves us with travel, which this video is not getting anything at all, unfortunately. So I'm gonna put my build category away. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'm so sorry for the mix up of having to do my regular talking voice and then a voiceover but you guys are real ones but <laughs> please make sure you come like comment share subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one make sure you drop me some comments below let me know what your financial goals are all right guys I'll see you later bye Take you there. <laughs>
take you there.